while California's University of Irvine launched a legit esports track at its college, you may have missed these sorta of selfies and the latest in water spawning electricity. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where Typhoon Maranti first ruined outdoor festivals in China, then stole a giant balloon moon that had been intended for said festivities and ran people over with it. That's cold. Tidal power is quickly coming into its own, but most installations need powerful ocean currents to work well, like that offshore array near Scotland that we talked about a few weeks back. However, the University of Michigan created a new kind of underwater turbine that works in slow-moving rivers and uses physics to take full advantage of the currents. The Vivace has four cylindrical turbines in a 12-ton metal frame stuck 26 feet below the surface. As a tiny little baby three-knot current moves by, which for non-sailor folk... I sail! I'm a sailor! I sail! ...just means a measly three and a half miles an hour. The water begins pushing the cylinders back and forth to generate electricity. It's not a lot of power, just one kilowatt a day. However, this is the cool part. As the water passes each cylinder, small whirlpools form behind them, generating turbulence which hits the neighboring turbine, then produces more power. If this prototype works out, we may start creating water power from more than just our coastal areas. That means, environmental lobby, get in front of the protected species mess coming your way, please. And finally, y'all probably know Jib Jab, aka how my sister tortures me publicly. But it just released a new app that syncs with Messenger to make your selfie face into an emoji, and this is all so meta now that I guess it just makes sense.